In our health cast today, a study at the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine is shedding some new light on African Americans and Alzheimer's disease. And that link, starting with blood biomarkers to determine who might be at risk, researchers found that African American patients of African descent were uh, higher and also had higher educational achievement, were more resilient against the disease than those who had less education. The study showed that lifelong learning and education support cognitive reserve, which does have a protective effect effect against this disease. You can imagine an individual with a backup generator uh, which allowing an individual to overcome with uh, of the uh, damage caused by the Alzheimer's disease. So even they have this damage they can uh, maintain their cognitive and their functional abilities. So education uh, contributes to this reserve and um, it provides a protection even though you have uh, this damage in your brain. Dr. Farid Rajali says the study is part of a larger effort to investigate social determinants at risk for Alzheimer's disease, including things like your lifestyle or your environment. And more data is showing that a well-known drug could be repurposed to treat Alzheimer's disease itself. The drug is called sildenafil, and it's used to treat people who have erectile dysfunction or high blood pressure. Researchers with the Cleveland Clinic have found it also appears to lower levels of certain proteins in the brain, which are linked to Alzheimer's. The next step is to develop a clinical trial to test the drug's safety and efficacy.